What is up, my beautiful babes and babes of the world? It's your girl, Keelan, aka It's Keelan, and I am back with another mother freaking video. As you guys can see from today's title this video is gonna be really one of my more serious videos that I will probably ever do on my channel um, the reason why is because not a lot of people talk about this and I feel like it needs to be talked about more especially if you are someone who has depression or someone or you're going or someone you know is going through depression or anything like that or you yourself may be going through it at this moment but this is um how i deal with my depression um so i recorded this video like two or three other times but when i recorded it i was literally going through my depression state and my energy was just not the best i really didn't care it was pretty much me venting now that i am out of my depression state and I've written things down and you know worked through it I thought it would be the perfect time to do this video so I'm just gonna jump right into what I have to say um so I did again as I said I wrote everything down for you guys just so that I wouldn't miss anything now I want to start off with the definition of depression depression is a common and serious medical illness that um, negatively affects how you feel the way you think and how you act um that was from psychiatry dot psychiatry psychiatry dot org um that's where i got that definition from i was diagnosed with depression in 2017 um, I was diagnosed with mild depression, which on the um, PHQ-9 scale is between a 5 and a 9. I was a 7 at the time. So, in 2019, well, this is, this is, um, I wrote this stuff down in 2019. In 2000, so pretty much in 2019 when I went back to the doctor, my depression had reached a... It went from a 7 to a 16, which is moderately severe depression. So, in two years, my depression skyrocketed. Now, they they did not think it was like necessary to give me any antidepressants. And let's be honest, uh, I have not... I don't feel that I want to take antidepressants because I feel like <clears throat> for my brother, prime example, when he was on antidepressants, it made him want to kill himself. The side effects of being on antidepressants outweigh the good of being on antidepressants. So I just know I'm not doing it. This is my experience with how, what it was like when I was going through my depressive state. I was getting little to no sleep. I had a bunch of harmful thoughts. I was consistently thinking I was a failure, failure to everyone and it sucked. Like, it felt like nothing I was doing, I was succeeding at. I, and that was even with my my lip gloss business, which is why I stopped doing it for a couple months because I just felt like I wasn't good enough to do it. Um, so again, thinking I wasn't good enough, I was blaming myself that for literally everything that went wrong in life, even if it wasn't my fault. But for me, it was somehow it was my fault because maybe if you would have done this better or maybe if you would have done this better this wouldn't have happened that was where my mindset was and you could not tell me it was not my fault like no matter how many times people say no it's not your fault you couldn't tell me that it wasn't my fault um to and then at one point in time i was getting too much sleep like i was literally sleeping the entire day just because i felt like i had no energy 
and I was just always exhausted from overthinking and fighting with my brain and fighting to to do the bad things or do the good things or get up and just, or stay in bed it's literally a mental exhaustion going on like it's exhausting fighting yourself every day um and then being exhausted from showering now I am one that I am a really good I'm, I'm super good when it comes to hygiene it's just I can't, I can't I just personally cannot I have to take a bath a shower or something you know I gotta make sure that my hygiene is good um so I knew I was like really really severely depressed when I was not taking a shower I probably went like maybe I want to say like maybe a week without taking a shower and again that is not normal for me because if anyone knows me you know I like to stay in the tub for at least two hours or more because I just it's a relaxing thing that I love to do I went probably a week without taking a shower and when I finally did take a shower it was so exhausting and all I was doing was standing up and washing my body it was that it was that hard it was that tough it was that exhausting it was literally the most exhausting thing I I was just like what the heck like why is it I, am I so tired from taking a shower like something that you do daily and I was tired from it no so that was like pretty much my wake up point like you can either stay in this funk or you can get like toss all that negativity out the window yes it is easier said than done trust me it is easier said than done because I had to force myself to do it um you will battle you will fight yourself you will think you are not good enough sometimes or you would think you are too good sometimes you think people take advantage of you you think all these thoughts are going through you might i'm i'm gonna be honest because we are talking about depression you might even think about killing yourself i thought about it i had a plan maybe two or three times in my lifetime I wrote letters to everybody I still have the letters and they are literally my reminder that that is some place that I will never go back to they they are um, a kind of a milestone for me from where I was to where I am today like if you know me and like you've never like I don't really talk about depression I don't really talk about my depression because it's just something that people aren't talked about and let's just be honest if you grow up in a black family you aren't you don't have depression what is depression and we're just being honest here like we it's not really it's not really something that is accepted for some odd reason it's just something that african-american families just don't accept why are you depressed oh you're just faking all oh, this all oh, this but it's real it's really a chemical imbalance in your brain and it's so real um so for like everybody that is just false claiming depression just because it's in and I've met some people that have done that so just it's not it's not a good thing it's not just, just stop because for us this is an everyday thing that we have to deal with it's a battle that constantly goes on in our minds that we are not good enough that we are this that we are that like it just stop because for for people living with depression you just look idiotic and I'm I'm not trying to say that to offend anyone but you don't really know what depression is until you live inside someone's mind or you go inside their mind and or you actually have it yourself because for us it's shutting the world down I can be in a room full of people and still think I'm the only one. I can be in a room full of people and think there is nobody here for me. I have really amazing friends, but sometimes if my depression is really bad, I think I'm a burden to them and all they want to do is help me. Um, it's just one of those things that should be talked about more that really isn't. Um, so my thing for that is I would try to say find an outlet my outlet it used to be music I have slowly gone away from music um, but now it's either my business or it's YouTube or it's just writing like those are the three things I go to if 
all else fails, I will rely on music and just put my headphones in. And pe normally when I have my headphones in, people just know maybe she, you know, she needs time to be by herself. Just let her be by herself. And you block out the world and you think about, you write down what you are like, you write down things that make you happy. You write down things that make you, you, and you write down things about yourself that are positive. Doing this in the end trumps all the negativity that people or this world may put in your brain like that's the thing people with depression they can be fine and dandy one day or one minute and then a thought can come into their mind and they are back in that dark place somebody can bring up an old ex or an old relationship it doesn't even have to be an ex like an old friendship or something and they are back to thinking well that failed because of me so when you are around when you're around someone that has depression I'm not saying be sensitive but you have to realize that people with depression deal with this battle every day every day if if they aren't thinking about it it will creep up on them and it will be like I can't even explain it y'all like living with depression is not the best I would not wish this on my worst enemy with that being said I'm not saying that it's I'm not saying that depression is one of those things that just um you know it's it's a come and go situation where it's overnight where you're gonna get out of the funk you're not sometimes you can be depressed for weeks months I have not been depressed. I will not. I will. Re I refuse to let myself be depressed for a year, for years at a time. But let me tell y'all, when I first got depressed, or when I first was diagnosed with depression in 2017, that was a rough year. Everything started great in 2017. I was graduating high school. I went to prom. I had my dream college. Then it all fell apart in the summer of 2017 so from the summer literally the summer of 2018 to like maybe january february or even march of 29th or in the summer of 2017 to maybe march of 2018 that's a huge gap and i was diagnosed with depression between i was diagnosed with depression in between the summer i mean in the summer when I, while i was at college so because i started college in june or july so in the summertime i was diagnosed with depression and then i dealt with it from there to march of 2018 and i never went back to the doctor until 2019. it's something that is it's not talked about enough so you think i can deal with this myself and it's <sighs> you need somebody there for you you need a support system when that stuff is taken away from you it just feels like it is the end of the world i'm not saying this is an excuse for suicide but for some people it's the end of the world for them they feel like they have nothing else to live for i'm gonna be honest with me thinking about it literally three times and having planned twice to do it I was in a really, 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 really dark place to where I felt like if I was gone, the world would be better off without me. And, you know, thinking back now, it's like so, so selfish of me to say that because I have really great friends. I have family. I have a support system. I have you guys. And it's like... How can I take myself away from something that I'm trying so hard to, I am trying so hard to build a better me and by ending myself that, that would have just, it would have probably been, it would have been the worst thing I have, could have done for myself, obviously, but other people that I was helping or that I impact or that, you know, love and support me. I took myself away from them so or I would have taken myself away from them so I literally had to go and I had to rethink life if we're being honest I had to rethink 
and like I said write my list down the good versus the bad if the good outweighs the bad then it's it's no and I'm not saying this list is gonna be done in a day no it's not you think literally all the good you've ever done versus the bad you think you've done or even the bad that you have done and go from there that's pretty much what depression is um i'm sorry this video was pretty much all over the place i tried to like write it all down but i wanted to literally tell you guys and like show you guys that it's real like depression is real and it's something that really is not talked about like if you go and you look up what depression really is you get a vague answer of it affects how you think act and whatever but it's not like it's it can be broken down because it can't i can't break down to you why one minute i'm fine and the next minute i'm not i can't again i say there are trigger things that can happen but other than that i can't break it down for you so um again i'm sorry that this video was pretty much all over the place but i wanted to get everything out in the air i wanted to just share my experience with it and what i do or what i have done to get from where i was in 2017 to where i am in 2020 like so yeah um if you guys like this video like me talking about this stuff wanting to hear more of my story give it a big thumbs up let me know how i did with this video give it a big old thumbs up because it really 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 helps me out a lot don't forget to comment share subscribe turn on your bell notification so you can see the next time i post i would love to have you we would love to have you join my sister begin because we're lit over here or at least i'm trying to get lit over here and always remember stay classy and a little bit trashy and i'll see you guys in my next video